Okay, so, um, from what I've been told, <clears throat> we have finals here for, uh, oh, it's semis? Okay. Semi-finals for, uh, yeah, for, uh, yeah, it's, um, Pink Fresh and Boss. No. Seagull sorry, and boss. Seagull. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Seagull and bo uh, Boss. Ultimate Scout and, and Ultimate Weedle. Scout and Weedle, right. Yeah, so, I mean, all four people are excellent players. I mean, I haven't seen Boss play ever. I assume he's great, though. He's a real. he's like one of the top Xanadu players. Okay, okay. That, yeah, that makes sense. For PM and Smash 4. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and I mean, we all we all know how good uh, how good Seagull Joe is here at, uh, at AEX, so... Not news. Yeah. So they're running double Diddy. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting combo. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know, Siegel's a huge Diddy guy. Always is, always will be. I'm so just, I'm just so used to watching him play with Lucas. It's throwing me off. Like, you know, Diddy yeah. and Lucas. And uh, Ultimate Scout, he's a big Marth fan, Melee and I, PM. I don't. We, uh, Jimmy and I were talking about that. I don't think I've ever seen him play anything other than Marth. Yeah. Personally, I don't think I've seen it. And Weedle pretty much always sticks to Peach. Yeah, although he did switch it up uh, just the last uh, one of the last games we were watching him on. It was, oh god, who did he switch to? Oh, I can't remember. It wasn't Peach though, and I remember being pretty thrown off by it. But yeah, he does he almost always play Peach also. So we got a lot of people who are very, uh, very character specific, you know? Yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, I think Boss plays, I think he might also play Luigi, or that might just be Smash 4. Oh god, I would love to watch some Luigi action. I never get to watch Luigi. Him and uh, Seagull Joe, they're like the top ditties for PM, I believe. I believe it, absolutely, yeah. I mean, there was a while where uh, Seagull and like Pink Fresh were like the two of the top guys, like like you know, in the U.S. for Smash Four. There, like right when it had come out. Yeah, they like had a little, a small reign of it. Yeah, which was really neat. It was really cool to see uh, such awesome like top players like you know frequent our tournaments so often. Yeah, man, they are doing work with Double Diddy right now. They're yeah, keeping up. Absolutely. Control. And you know what? I'm actually not seeing a lot of, which makes me happy because I was I was worried that they were gonna just cheese the hell out of banana peels. Oh, dude, banana. Oh man, banana peels. It's really easy to abuse. Especially it, is, teams. it is. It really is. And that's the thing. Like honestly, God, Seagull Joe really doesn't abuse banana peels. It feels like he, like, because it's you know, it, you know, however you win, you win. But I mean, there are some tactics that just feel a lot cheaper than others, and banana peels are definitely one of those tactics. Man, this they're just. Oh. Ultimate Scout with like an awesome dare right there. Yeah. Like not enough though. Yeah. And there's nope, no balloon control. It's all about the balloon control. Yeah, the balloon I know. Control. People don't understand. Like, why are they playing this map if it's not about balloon control? Um, it's a pretty close match right now. Like, Weedle's getting to a high stop. Yeah. But like, yeah. It's Boston, coming back. Seagull. And that, but I mean, yeah, Weedle. Ah, uh, there it is. Yep. Yep. A two stock lead now. Like. Uh, yeah, which is significant, especially with that caliber of player. But you know, it's not impossible for for Weedle and Ultimate to come back, especially after a nice double hit like that. He did hit um, Weedle in the process, but oh, there's the hit both just there. Yeah, the force smash. <laughs> Yep. Um, the big thing I see uh, Seagull, Joe, and Boss doing, they're really keeping um, Ultimate Scout and Weedle like, separated. In the yeah. yeah. Like, they, they want to the, they have the outer. Like, usually you don't give up the middle ground, but like, right. they just want to keep beating them up together. Yeah. Like, it's a very smart tactic. No, absolutely. And a nice hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, so that'll do it for Ultima Scout, and uh, Weedle here doesn't have much to stand on. We'll see how, how long he can drag it out. And that doing, doing a decent job. Um, yeah, they have to play safe. Like, they you have to, and that's you know I've, I've said it a couple times now. When you get into the one v two situations, you can't go too all out, or else you risk uh, you risk hurting your other player. And yep, there it goes. So and that should be game one. Yep, game one. We'll be going to uh, Seagull, Joe and, Seagull boss. and Boss. And yep, there there it goes. So Boss. Whoa. Boss going for Bowser. This is interesting. I'm I'm really excited to see how this goes. I haven't seen much PM Bowser like uh, here and there, but like yes. I mean, obviously, much more viable than uh, Melee Bowser ever was. There's but a, there's a lot you can do with PM Bowser. Yeah, yeah. A lot more super and armor. You're seeing it already. He's a uh, ooh nice. See, he got the that perfect line though with the butt bomb. He knew exactly where he could do it, where he'd still catch the edge. Although um. Uh, Weedle did a great job avoiding it. Oh, there's a quick death for Joe. That's not going to be good for him. First blood for Green. Yeah, first blood. First blood. Second blood. Oh, did you, I don't know if you saw that, but two hits in a row, Weedle has stopped the knockback of Ooh. Ultimate Scout. Yes, yes. I think one with a maybe a Nair and then one with his umbrella. 
Yeah, Weedle's having an excellent game so far. Uh, really controlling the field and uh, doing a good job of keeping um, keeping Bowser, uh, giving Boss and Joe away from each other. And then, yeah. as I say, that she goes flying. But still. Uh, uh, there we go. Comes right back. I, I love those immediate comma, uh, karmas. I don't know. I thought... Um, So yeah, actually, uh, we're getting confirmation. This is, yeah, this is actually winner's finals. Sorry about the confusion. Uh, but yeah, Freaking so actually, show. which will make this a uh, three out of five then. Yeah. Semis, eh? Semis are two, I think, aren't they? I think they're two out of three. Uh, I thought semis were f uh, three out of five. But anyway, this is this is finals, so winner's finals. Which, Man. of course, leads to, you know, grand finals after, but... I don't know if this, like, swap was, like, what they wanted. Like, uh, I guess they are hoping... It doesn't... I mean, it, <sighs> this stage is not... I don't mean it's, no, it's not. No, it's not conducive to Bowser at all. Yeah. And like you said, you do the you do the swapping after the stage select, so, I mean, they, it seems like they already knew what they were getting into. Um, I don't know how Bowser usually kills, but I know this uh, Fountain Dreams has a really high ceiling, so... Yes. And I feel like, yeah, he definitely does have some pretty strong up attacks. Yeah, so it's gonna, like... It really hurts him. Yeah. So this is a pretty... This was a pretty good counter pick, I think. It is dead close, though. And um, Ultima Side doing a good job. Oh, God, he got blasted. And a double kill for Blue. Wow. I, yeah, I mean, shit, we were just talking about how we thought Green kind of had the upper hand here. And they, turned around. Yeah, they turned it around with skill, you know what I mean? Because they do have the upper hand, but, man, I it just they are, they're out they're outclassing them. Uh, Ultima Scout, though, doing a good job. Nice. Very... Did oh they my, just get a double kill? Oh, oh my god. Nope, nope. Joe came back. There it is. Okay. Another double kill. Wow. Oh my so, god. I mean, this is a very even game still. Tight bundle. Joe, very tight bundle. Joe's still no damage, though. It's so a holding Yahtzee for blue. Um, ulti or, uh, Weedle's starting to get up there in damage, though. So, getting, getting a little dicey here. Ooh. Boss gets a nice hit on Weedle. Sends him pretty far, but not far enough for it to matter. Oh, God. Weedle, he hung, yeah. out, too, too, he hung out too long up there. Uh, as, as long as Weedle is careful about his horizontal, like, yes. uh, like, edge, like, Ooh, hits, nice trading. Nice edge trade. DI in the top left corner with that high ceiling. Oh, yeah. Like, there's not... He, peach, peach, peach. Gets hit into the sidewall. Yep. Yeah, as soon as I say, yep. you gotta watch out. I know. It's fucking commentator's curse, man. Now, uh, doing... Also wow. scout... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow, that was a great tipper. This is possible. This is absolutely possible. I don't think it'll happen, but if he plays it right, man. Oh, there it goes. Damn. Right. Well played by Joe. So that's right. uh, two. two yeah, Boston Siegel, 2-0. Uh, Excellent match. That was yeah. fun. I'm sorry. Right, let's see what they pick now. I want, I want to see PS2. That's what I want. I feel like they might... Switch off Bowser. Uh, I feel it, like they will too. It, I don't think he played to their it advantage did last seem game. Like a strong pick. They, I mean, they won, but it wasn't by nearly as much as it the was first very game. Close. They could have lost. Yeah, it. they easily could have lost it. If uh, Joe yeah. hadn't made that read last time. Oh. oh, they're sticking with it. Okay. Wow. All right. Wait, they're going back to. Fa uh, no, the the uh, because it was so close, they're gonna do like a salty run back. Wow. Like, All right. A lot of I feel like a lot of like higher skill teams usually like if it's close enough, they're yeah. like, oh well. We Let's just, redo that. Yeah. yeah we screwed yeah. up a little bit. We can do this. Cool. All right. I mean, it's like no, it's like we were saying too. Is that I mean, Green definitely has the advantage here. So I mean, or they should. Oh. In terms of picks, oh yeah. man. Oh, and he gets them again. See, that was excellent because Ultimate Scout. Yeah. Wow. Joe is so good at surviving. Ultima Scout did a great spike, which which Joe was able to counter and actually get back to the stage. Joe was waiting for him, edge guarded. Or I mean, Ultima Scout was waiting for him, edge guarded, knocked him back, but Joe still managed to come back. That was excellent. Diddy Rockets are Incredible. really annoying. They're really annoying to deal with. Like, they have awesome recovery. Yep. Some say it's one of the best in the game. I, I think it really is, honestly. It's 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 way up there. And the thing is, you really have to be good at it, though, because I know from experience they're very hard to control, like, accurately. Yeah. So, you know, anyone who can do that, that, like to the extent you know deserves to be able to get back well because they're hard this is in blue's favor like i don't know it seemed like it was a good uh, good repick to come well, back here we got weedle still holding up strong and really uh doing some nice damage output keeping bowser at bay even with super high damage all that that, that umbrella uh, yeah, oh, and nope and <laughs> too much damage way too much oh did he just get it no he didn't that was a great, great combo. And nice, nice, uh, yeah, get up attack off the ledge there for uh, Ultima Scout. Love seeing the uh, Nair off the edge. 
Oh, wow. Although you don't, you actually don't see, oh, very nice. You don't see um, Ultimus got do too many nares as a Marth player, which is surprising, being that I feel like it's one of Marth's really strongest moves, you know? Yeah. He likes to play it a little bit differently than yeah. his uh, melee counterpart yeah. Marth. He's a bit more aggressive, I think. I think so, too. Melee. Yeah. And he'll make it back. Oh God! Off the ceiling there, and almost a double kill for yeah. Blue there. That was that would have been really bad. Yeah, this is, this is just not looking good for Green. No, it's really not. Like we the pick is not favoring them at all. Weedle definitely needs to uh, make. Some, oh God, Weedle needs to make a big, big difference right now. Oh, there you go. All right, nice kill for Ultima. It's kind of hard. Peach can't. Uh, and is he gonna be able to stop him? All right, you gotta keep Diddy distracted. Nope, missed, missed the spike. Shit. Like Pete, whenever Peach is like alone on stage, she can't really do anything. Like when she gets yeah. trapped, it's yep. hard to get or one v twoing. You yep. can't do much. Yep. And uh, yeah, so I mean, oh, and is that Bowser off the top? Very nice, very nice. It's I mean, it's a tie game. It's a tie fucking game. Um, you know, a little bit of damage here, a little bit of. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. And yes, Siegel not able to edge hog correctly. And he's gonna make it back with Knight. That was a perfect way to play that. Yeah, I don't know if he would have been able to edge guard him with the or edge hog him with the roll. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, and does the shell knock him away? I don't think he can make it back from that. Wow, he can. Incredible. And he's gonna get up to that banana peel. Oh man, that was good. Oh, they were so ready for that. That was perfectly played. I. Wow. And yeah, that's gonna be. That's probably gonna be it for green. That's that's. I mean, so that's gonna be three. Weedle's pretty good at surviving, though. Dude, Weedle's great at surviving. Even even managed to get another Diddy kill. Let's see how long he can go. Let's see how long he can go. Nice. Oh, he's, he's maintaining the pressure, though, and he's keeping them... Oh, man, he's keeping them together, which is exactly what you need to do. Uh, but yeah, bomb! Yeah. But bomb to death. Damn, what a bad way to go. All right, yeah, that'll do it. That's uh, 3-0. Oh. Yeah, he got clipped by that. That wasn't, that wasn't like, too good. Yep. All right. 3-0. So they're going to take it. Yeah. Boston Siegel taking it over Weedle and Ultima Scout.